cái này đó. All right, welcome back to Take Five. We have some very special guests as we talk to a team heading to the Nationals. Wow, we really practice being quiet that well. Really? Can you can you give me a? Are you excited to go to the Nationals? Yeah! Yeah! All right. We actually just had to go through who is willing to be on camera, and all of them were like, yeah, put me on camera right now. But first, before, don't worry, you will have your chance. You will have your chance. First, I want to introduce you to their coach, Reggie Jones. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Okay, so we're talking about a team of eight-year-olds. I just asked you where they're from. Yeah, they're from everywhere. We have kids from Parkland, Des Moines, uh, Seattle. They're coming from everywhere. And this is the AIR football program. What does AIR stand for? AIR is heart, it's education, it's integrity, and it's resiliency. And every kid in our program has to have those qualities in order to be in there. Why is that so important? I mean, it's important. I mean, just personally, I came through a lot of stuff, was able to make it where I wanted to go, um, the highest level. And being able to pour back into these kids and allow them to be resilient um, young kings, I'm turning from young boys to young kings is, is extremely important to me. It's extremely important to all the coaches on our staff and just trying to get these kids out and, and not just in football, but in life. How long have you all been playing together? This is our first year. This is your first year? Absolutely. And you're eighth in the entire country? Yes. Oh, and you're heading to Ohio, right? Yes, we are. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So not only are we talking about the game of football, we're talking about coming together as a team and playing for a long time. You said it leads to a life lesson. Yes. And, and you know, for us, like I said, we, we started back in July, and we had two weeks to put a team together. We put the team together, and we just started rolling through people. And, you know, the boys, they, they formed a, an amazing brotherhood, a bond. And these guys, you know, they're, they're hanging out in the hotels, creating experiences that are going to last, last a lifetime. I mean, playing football when I was eight years old, you know, it was, I remember some of the stuff I did, but I can only imagine what these guys are going to remember, you know, as they get older. Um, just, you know, going to California and Arizona, you know, now Ohio, um, you know, take, knocking off the top teams from different states and just being able to be the eighth team in the country uh, with an opportunity to be national champions. You know, it's, it's an experience that these kids have earned. And you know, I, I want them to, to cherish it for the rest of their lives. Why do you think it's important for parents watching to make sure that when their kids are in activities like football or sports or anything else, to connect it to some of the larger life lessons that you're talking about? I mean, it, it's vitally important because if this is what they love to do, it provides a platform for the child to, to learn. It provides a, a platform, a safe environment, and a fun environment for them to take all those lessons. You know, a parent can tell a kid something a thousand times and they might not it might not click for them but once a coach tells them or once a, a mentor tells them it clicks all of a sudden so allowing them to be in sports and football and other different activities allowing the, the village to raise a child um, I know it's it's old school values but it, it's it's still here for me and it's here for these kids and our coaches we we, we hold ourselves to that up to a high standard it's really creating a community exactly you guys feel that yeah. Yeah. all right who wants to tell me about their coach yeah you do go ahead oh you're gonna grab them go ahead <laughs> see I don't need it go ahead my coach is awesome and <laughs> <laughs> what makes him so great do you think have you had other coaches before yeah but what makes him better he just gets it he um he picked us and um <laughs> smart man right yep really smart <laughs> he comes up with all the plays come on what oh this guy thinks that he can do better than you what go ahead De no, go see ahead. he's go scared ahead. He's scared? Yeah. Why are you smiling like that? Let me ask you guys, let me why ask you guys this. There are a lot of people who would kill to be going to play in a national championship. What's the biggest lesson that you've learned playing for this coach? They would kill? Yeah, go um, ahead. Uh, that. Oh, oh no, you, you keep it. <laughs> go ahead. Um, that we were, um, all of us works as a team and yeah. um, we all um, pick each other up and we all we all made it to here. Oh, that's great. Who's a who's a good leader on your team? Me. Great, what? great answer. Me. Great hey, answer. This hey, is mutiny. Are you a good leader? Yeah. Tell me what makes a good leader. What have you learned about what makes a good leader from playing uh, on this team? First is school. Mm -hmm. Second is training, and third is basically finishing all your work, which you do mm -hmm. for basically school practice and all the stuff that else that you do. Great. And do any of you think that you're going to be, we're going to see you playing with the Seahawks? Who wants to play for the Seahawks? Mm. Oh. What? I'm Excuse, I'm sitting down my iPad for this. Are there other teams that you want to play Say for? Yes. 
Okay. I want to play for the LA Rams. Right. Everybody needs to sit down because <laughs> I just need to absorb this for a minute. Saints or Rams? The Saints or the Rams? Yeah, okay, I'm playing for the Rams. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this microphone back. <laughs> okay, no, that's okay. You can like whatever team you want. How well do you think you're gonna be playing in the national championships? Scale of uh, one to ten. One hundred. A thousand. One hundred ten percent. Infinity. A thousand. A decade. Infinity. You guys are really good at math too. I love it. I love it. Infinity one hundred. When are you playing? When is the game? And when will we know for sure what's going so on? So we play on third, or actually Friday, because we have a first round bye. Um, well yeah. done. So we go out there, have a first round bye, play Friday, then we'll play Saturday in the semifinals, and then Sunday's the championship. Oh my gosh. And hopefully we're playing against North Henry, who's the number one team in the country from Georgia. We want all of that. So you want the best team? You want to prove, your, prove yourself against the best team? Yeah. Um, if we beat the North Henry Tigers, then uh, we're going to celebrate so bad. And we're going to go to a lot of countries else. Okay. We're going to beat all the other teams. And then we're going to go into the Snoop League. Oh, wow. league okay. And then yeah. we're going to mm -hmm. beat them. Yeah, and then sure. we're going to have fun. Yeah. And then basically we're going to be number one. In all of the universe. Yes. Oh, uh, the galaxy. Oh, the galaxy. My bad. My bad. You guys, you did a great job. Thank you so much. Coach Reggie, thank you. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you have something else? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. One more thing. Okay. Stephanie, just hang on a second, okay? Our producer is. One more thing mm -hmm. is that um, we, uh, we're basically just coming for the number one spot. Coming for the number one spot. Can you guys all hold up your number one signs? Show all of our viewers where you guys are going to be going, what you're bringing back for us. Congratulations on all of your success. I am so Started excited up. for all of you. What do you think about these guys? I'll let them tell you. Ooh! Yeah. Keep track, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. We'll be right back.